Hello and welcome. I am Matt and I'm here to tell you about a brand new exciting update to an already brand new and exciting feature on teleportme.com. So you might be wondering what I'm talking about. Well, let me let me explain. A few weeks ago, teleportme.com released a feature to their virtual tours where you could take embedded video and you can place it on the walls, you can place it wherever you want in the virtual tour and it runs just like a television set sitting on the wall or something like that and it's actually really slick it'll auto play auto loop um it's not just like a little hot link that you click and all of a sudden a window pops up no this is like sitting on a wall you can change the perspective of it everything it's actually a really slick feature and i don't think anybody has that with an online virtual tour provider but they didn't stop just there Teleport Me popped up and they just released a new feature to that feature and that is green screen. So what that means is you can have your agent, an actor, yourself, or anybody for that matter, stand in front of a green screen and talk anywhere. I mean, you can be anywhere to record this and then you can take that video and you can place it into your virtual tour so that it looks like the person is standing in the space. So in order for the video to work, just like with the embedded videos uh, that came out a few weeks ago, you have to be able to store it somewhere like Vimeo Pro. I have a Vimeo Pro account. You have to do it on like a, a CDN or on Amazon S3. You can't just link it from YouTube or from just a basic Vimeo or, or anything like that. Let's go see exactly how this works. I already have the panels uploaded into my dashboard here so I'm gonna just jump right in and you want to try and figure out where you want your actor to be at whether it's right here at the front door like I have set correct uh, set right now or over here or wherever I mean you can put them anywhere you want you can set them right on a tabletop if you want to uh, but for this, I'm going to put our actor right here at the front door. So I'm going to go up here to add new polygon. As you see, a polygon pops up here. So to move this around or to change the, the, the perspective of it, the size of it, you simply click on one of the black dots in the corners and it's automatically going to attach to your mouse. Now, I like to always follow some of the horizontals and verticals here so that when I do embed the video, it's going to go off the same proportions, the same lines as the virtual tour. So I'm going to follow the door frame here. There we go. Now, I'm gonna come up here. I'm going to change the fill color because if you notice, it's kind of shaded. And I'm gonna make this all the way down to transparent. And then I'm gonna get rid of this border. So I'm gonna put the stroke size to zero. Now I'm gonna come here and drop this down. I'm gonna choose video. And I'm going to paste the video that I want in the tour. Embed this into the hotspot, click autoplay, and you notice it's just going to come in here with the green screen behind it. Click enable chroma. And there you go. Um, I'm going to just grab right in the middle here of, the, of your rectangle and drag to the ground. That way it doesn't look like she's levitating. And that looks about right. So if you look over here, you're going to see that there's threshold and there's padding. Uh, this is the chroma padding. And if you grab that and drag it, as you can see, it does that there. And then threshold is going to adjust. Well, here, I'll just show you. If I go all the way down here to one, it's going to bring the green screen back. This is just the threshold of what it allows of, of the green to come through. 
Um, it comes set default at 55, which I find to be actually the best setting for this. However, it just depends on depends on your green screen, depends on the, the light during recording of that. So it, it can all be different. Well, they allow you to change it around here. If you go too far, though, you just pretty much get rid of your agent completely. So I'm going to put that back on 55. Just play around with it. You'll find the setting that works best for you. So this is all done. And as you notice, as you turn and spin around, so does your video. So let's go take a peek at it. This is the living room, which is superstitious with the wood fireplace. Imagine the whole family sitting here and enjoying a nice Sunday afternoon watching TV or playing board games. And there you go. That is how you add an actor standing in front of a green screen to your virtual tour. Okay, and that's it. So, are you excited about it? Because I am. I think it's a fantastic feature that has a very unique approach and look that you can add to a virtual tour. And there's really nobody out there doing it. And it'd be really simple and easy to do this with an agent if you're doing it for real estate or if you're going in and you're doing commercial and you have like the manager or the business owner or something like that, giving an introduction to their business or the storefront or their nonprofit. It's endless. It absolutely is endless. So check it out. I'm telling you it's awesome and enjoy.